How do you think uh, TV and film, particularly licensing, is affecting how music producers work? For a while, it was a lot of composers just doing shows and movies, and now it's open up to us. It's open up to producers. They want our sound in their, in their films. Music is actually, to me, it's about simplicity. Uh, you shouldn't use a lot of sounds because the vocals should be really the star. Okay, let you them know, come through. Exactly where in TV and film you have to use a lot of sounds because you create the emotion of the scene. Can you give me a few words on just how uh, working in TV is different from working, you know, say with somebody who's in into yeah, pop music? Or complete, completely different. In the music in industry world, you know, you get a little bit more time to work on things. Uh, in the TV, everything is about deadlines. And if they tell you that it's due on the 28th, there's no, well, I can't make it on the 28th, get me to the 30th. With the music industry, you can. When we did Star Maker, it was very strict. Uh -huh. We need it today, it has to be done by today at 3 o'clock, and no tomorrow by 3. What are the producers expecting from a television standpoint versus someone who's running a label? In the radio and club world, it's pretty much straightforward. It's about melody. The tracks have to be banging. In the TV and film world, working with Jerry Bruckheimer, I remember going into editing with him on Confessions of a Shopaholic and him constantly saying, ah, it needs to be sadder here. I need it to be sad. I need some cellos, you know, or it needs to be funny. We need oboes and knowing how to play it as well. If it's not a live, and if you're using, you know, keyboard and you're not with a live orchestra, you got to know how to make it feel like oh, I see. it's swelling and doing certain things, you know, because you can't physically make it swell by just playing. From a financial perspective, or at least by earning a living um, for musicians and producers, how do you think licensing for TV and licensing for even the web and, and film, uh, how is that changing the game? I think for years, producers are so caught up in only getting a placement on the album and getting a fee for production. You could make more money from your songs being, being licensed. Like, for example, I have a song Mary G. Blige featuring Drake. It's called The One and it's in the AT&T, National AT&T campaign. I make more money from the AT&T side than the actual music side. I was doing records for the Jerry Bruckheimer film and made more money off of licensing those songs in the film than actually doing it on the artists on the record company. People just don't think that way, but I think licensing is the way to go. Thanks for having us and thanks for all the information and all the, the, the tips and tricks. Thank you.